Hey everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm here with a colour and catch up. Um, there are several Christmas colour alongs going on at the moment. Um, there is the one that Sweet Nightingale and uh, A Colourful Life are having on, which is a sweet colour for Christmas and that's about colouring anything. And then there's also the one that Grace at Grace's Colouring Corners are uh, hosting this week which is a month long one. Uh, she's doing it, Shalene's doing a week. Shalene is next week, I think. Karen Francis is doing it. And the Dollar Diva is also hosting a week. So this week is Grace and Grace's pit. Johanna's Christmas. So I'm gonna color the same picture that uh, they're coloring in. Um, excuse that one. Which is the ornament here. So it's, it's really nice. It's a really pretty one. So we are going to have a go at doing this. So the one thing I will say again is that I have still forgotten, I admit, to leave links um, to Grace's Colour and Corner and Days with Jordan the Lion. So I will definitely link to them with this video. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this a day. It's not gonna be huge videos, maybe 10 or 20 minute long catch-ups. Cause as you know, I'm also doing uh, Vlogmas. So I'm posting an extra video every day alongside the nice stuff I normally do. So you can see what I'm getting up to on my daily in my daily life. So normally I would just post things like my colour and catch up like this, my Marin and Scrapbook tour, my book stuff, my booktube and videos and some photography stuff. Um, this by the way is, if you wanted to know, is leaf green and it's polychromos leaf green so and I use it for the leaf which is quite interesting. <laughs> So yeah, just talking about what I'm doing on a daily basis and what I've been up to. It's just a little bit extra, showing you a bit behind the scenes. Taking you with me when I pop out to the shops. So this actually started today, this is December the 4th. So this is actually gonna be going up the same day that I film it for once, <laughs> cause I'm off work now. So there's no reason why I can't get them done and up on the same same day I still am filming a lot of other stuff to put up here and there I have been asked to do some more book spotlights I will be doing said book spotlights when I can so because I've still got to put Grace's colouring corner and Days with Jordan the Lion. I'm not going to recommend any channels today. But I will possibly tomorrow once I have remembered to do so. So I'm out tomorrow because I've got midwife and then if I'm out there in time, I will be popping into the choir practice for the office's uh, Christmas carols, which is next week, next Friday. And cause I'm out and about, I might even pop to Hobbycraft to get some more gel pens. Like I said, my gel pens are running out. I said I would buy some more by the end of the year, so I can finish off the cover page of Ivy and the Inky Butterflies, which is one of my works in progress. So. So I've done some Christmas wrapping. Have you got all your Christmas presents sorted yet? And have you? wrapped them up. I'm pretty much sorted. There's just a few little bits and pieces I need to get. 
but not much. And mostly it's because it's my brother and my dad's birthday around Christmas. My dad's birthday is Christmas Eve. And my brother's birthday is actually Boxing Day, so... Oh, that didn't help. That's going to do that pencil a lot of good. Uh, so, yeah, so it's their birthdays as well, so... I have got some of it. I've got most of the presents now. There's just a couple of odd things I need to pick up next time I'm in certain shops so I'm also waiting on some stuff from the Avon for Paul for his Christmas present but he's practically done we don't buy each other really expensive gifts we'd rather save up our money and do things throughout the year like um, for instance go and see the Manic Street Preachers in uh, May Cost us just under £90, and that's just the tickets, that's not including getting to, to Cardiff eating and uh, buying anything if we want anything from the, the venue. So, yeah. So, we'll be off into Cardiff on the weekend on Sunday because everything's open on a Sunday because it's that time of year. So, we'll be having breakfast at Weatherspoons and then pop into John Lewis among other places and I will take you with me as part of the vlog the vlogmas it's just because we you know we, we do need to have a look at some stuff so we're going there that looks like all those leaves doesn't it yours thank you so I'm gonna go with a different a darker green now and this one is you won't be able to see it, I don't think. I won't focus. Permanent green. So I've got my Tegal sharp and I'm using that one at the moment just to give it a nice point. We're gonna just gonna go. Around the edges. So this is going to be our colour and catch-up picture for this week. I don't think it's going to take too long. It's not a complicated picture. I'm not sure what Sharon at Sweet Nightingale's doing. I will have a look. And I might do the same picture again because I know she's also doing one from Johanna's Christmas which is nice. This is a lovely book. And of course we did some in July as part of the Christmas in July. We've got cozy colouring weekend coming up again this weekend, which is the, you know, the cozy colouring night we did with um, Jen reading at Pugs and colouring chat with Sammy. They're doing that again. We're doing another one of those this weekend. So that's on Saturday. And the UK one starts at 6 p.m. UK time. And the cozy colouring evening lasts for three hours, whichever your time zone you're in. So obviously I'm in UK time. So Sammy will be live streaming and having a chat with us all. Saturday night from 6 p.m. London time. And Jen will be streaming live um, at, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which in the UK is around 11 p.m. Now, I like to try and stay up for that one, but I don't colour during it. I just watch it and chat. So, because I'll be going out Sunday morning, I want to go out quite early to get a parking space. Because I don't really want to have to walk too far. I'll go early, have breakfast first, and then pop to the shops. And while we're in Cardiff, you'll probably see, if you watch Doctor Who, some, some of the, the, the shops 
if we go into that area have been featured in various episodes of Doctor Who um, because obviously they film it over there park at City Hall and we'll walk from there, go and have breakfast first. And then head off to the shops we, we need to visit. So I think I'm gonna do this and I think I might do the black the background black if I can be brave to get some acrylic out because I do have some black acrylic paint I've not for, that I bought for backgrounds and I've not used it so previously I've used like black acrylic pens and it's only because these bits are little and tiny but I have got some very thin paint brushes I could use so If you can hear some funny noises, it's just the heating because I've got the heating on today because it's a bit nippy. So this is the one we're going to do this week while we're catching up because it's a nice simple one. It won't take us long but we'll try and do a bit of it every day together. I do have appointments with the doctors and the midwife this week so and I do have a book review to write and I've got to finish the book but saying that I'm about halfway through it so I'm enjoying it as well it won't, it won't take me long to finish it at all which is good so these, these videos we're going to do about 20 to 25 minutes I think and no longer because they do take a long time to upload onto YouTube and I've got to convert them first into the correct format that's a problem when you use a DSLR I think because the, the quality is good but of course it also means that the files are slightly bigger than if you just use the cheaper camera what I might do in January in the January sales is get almost like a GoPro camera for vlogging and see how that goes because I'm, I'm enjoying the vlogging but it's, it is complicated with it, it is difficult trying to lug the um, DSLR around with me especially if I want to do something like taking photographs and when I have a plan for next year um, next year's thing for the channel um, to do some more photography stuff but it's very hard to carry a DSLR work around with you and a, a film camera because I do like to use my film. But I'll tell you about all the plans I've got for next year when we get near the end of the year. That's assuming I can do it. I know that the, the one plan, the photography plan, I'll be able to do it, but it will take, it will need a break obviously when I have my baby. The thing with, with having a baby is I can still colour and chat quietly. I can still read and make videos. Probably not, not as much, obviously. I've got audiobooks for that reason. I can just put them on in the background. I can plug my phone into um, the speaker. We all set of speakers there. I can plug the speakers into my phone the headphone jack and just put a book on and listen to that well doing stuff obviously if we're filming cut and catch up and the baby cries then I'm gonna have to stop and go and sort the baby out because that takes priority but I'm not gonna disappear I'm still gonna be putting a lot of content on that's another reason why I'm doing a lot of pre-filming so that if for any reason I'm too tired 
I can just upload a pre-recorded video and that'll just be stuff like um, some of the colouring book flip throughs the th flip throughs of the Marilyn scrapbooks because I can just film them and put them up as and when also if I do some I want to do some more book spotlights not just on Marilyn but on some of my other photo books as well I did Harlow in Hollywood somebody's asked me to feature David Sten's biography of her bombshell this is all stuff I can pre-film and put up as and when though I do want to put some of it up quite soon because this is becoming mostly colouring at the moment this channel which I certainly don't have a problem with but I do want to put other stuff on it I don't want it to be the whole point is I have so many hobbies I do know that there are people who really love the Hollywood Hollywood stuff as well so that's why I'm just going to take this light colour again and just go over it all and blend it in a bit So I'm pretty sure Grace will finish hers before I finish mine because she colours not super fast but she's quite a quick colourist. Sometimes I, I sometimes I like to straight colour and sometimes I like to blend. On this one obviously I'm doing a bit of blending to make the leaves stand out a bit so it's the fiddly bit around the edge that's going to be fun. But we have got until next Monday. I'm, I just know that on Sunday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to find it hard to film because Paul's it around. And I've either got to do it very early before he gets up, which is unusual because he's up usually before me, on, especially on the weekend because he doesn't sleep very well. Or I've got to do it late at night, which means it doesn't go up to the next day. So. There's that. Looks nice. So I do know that I've got to be careful, not with the colour in, but uh, with my time. I've got to make sure I get enough of it done without going too fast. Then if we finish early, we finish, if we do finish it before the end of the week, we finish it before the end of the week. It's not, it's not the end of the world. So we've done those leaves, which look quite nice. Now we want some darker greens for the holly and one of the lighter greens, I think that one. So this one we've got the permanent green again. I've got chrome oxide green and I've got pine green. So those three I think I'm going to use. I'm just going to put them back in because I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually do tonight. So we'll put the light one in the middle of these for now. We'll just zoom it in a bit so we can see. We are in all the way, are we? Yeah, oh, we are. That's right, we can take it down a bit then. Because I've got a proper tripod, I can take this down and I can put it up and we can move it around <laughs> so we just put this bit in here There'll be a lot of green on this, but I'm thinking also a lot of stickly, sparkly stuff in places. So I'm just going to colour this all in one colour for now. Might well sort that out later. I quite like this 
this coloring book is absolutely lovely to be honest this Johanna Basford one I really like it I think it's just lovely the color the the, the patterns the pictures I think it's my favorite one of her books So, just keeping an eye on the time, because if we, if it if it is too, if it is really long, it'll take forever to upload. So I just want to get this layer of green on, and I think that'll be it for today. And then tomorrow we'll carry on with the the next parts. Like I said, I might pop the hobby craft tomorrow. There's a few bits I want. And there's a, a Best Buy or a Bargain Buy next door. I'm not actually sure what it's called. But I actually want something from in there as well. I have this set of drawers that I keep my craft stuff in. And at the moment it's got like markers in it, sharpies. Some coloured pencils that are like the Derwent Metallics and the Derwent... Um, skin tone watercolours but I don't want to leave them in they're all mixed up with some other cheap pencils I've got stickles and glitter glue mixed together I've got sharpies and Posca pen and normal felt pens mixed up so if I can get another one I can get it more organised and it'll be easier to, to find when I want something different so but we'll have to see so, well, it's not too bad actually with this We're on this side now So yes, I mean, have you, have you done your Christmas shopping? Like I said, I've nearly finished mine now. I started wrapping up today. But I think I mentioned it before, I have a lot of wrapping up to do because I don't just do my wrapping for people. I do Paul's wrapping for everybody. The only stuff I don't do if it's for a present for me, obviously. So I do Paul's um, presents for his mum and my mum and dad. I do my mum and dad's wrapping for everybody, so dad's presents for mum and mum's presents for dad and Chris and Paul. I do, I do all of that, so I get to do loads. Lucky old me, eh? <laughs> I know that I mind. I actually don't mind doing it. But it does take me a while, so I thought I'd start mine. And then when I've done mine, I'll get mine done over the course of the next few days. I'll do some more. I might do some more tonight, because I've done some of Paul's. The ones I'm giving Paul's, and I've done the one I'm giving Paul's mum. So I think bigger I could probably this evening after we've had dinner sit and watch some TV while I upload everything I'm uploading today until be this on my daily vlog and I can wrap some more presents I have got some more to wrap for Paul obviously I won't do that while he's home but uh, <laughs> bless him. But uh, they, I can do them tomorrow. But I could do the presents that he's given his mum. He can help me with those and write out his labels and stuff. And I got my mum and dad stuff on the table to do. So. This is going to be very green. But you can put like different coloured stickles on it. So for instance, I've got like two two or three different greens, two different reds, three different golds. 
The colour I don't think I got is silver. But that's okay. So it's getting on for five o'clock, I think. Oh, I don't know what time it is. Paul doesn't get home till about ten past six, so it's a long day. I'll start tea soon. He usually texts me to let me know how the train is because he catches the train home. And oh, this time of year it's a nightmare because it's rammed with Christmas shoppers and they never got enough carriages on. I don't understand why people. I can't tell why people go Christmas shopping. Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against that. But why they wait for the rush hour trains to come home? So why do they catch a five o'clock train, a uh, four o'clock or five o'clock train, which is the rush hour for people who actually commute in and out of Cardiff? You know, it's peak time. Why don't they go earlier and, and leave the, the rush hour trains for the people who actually have no choice but to catch those trains? Because they can catch a train anytime. You can catch a train at six. Or even you can catch the train at three. But Paul, who works in, in Cardiff, has no choice but to catch the one at five. Last week he actually went in early one day. So he caught the four o'clock train home and he said it was still busy, but he managed to get a seat because at five o'clock it's, it's hard to get a seat because of all the shoppers. So... I personally always try and avoid travelling at rush hour. If I'm shopping, I try and get home before then. Because, I mean, I hate crowds anyway, so. So the thing is, we've got the same around here. We've got Ivy and Mistletoe and Holly all around here, so there's going to be a lot of green around the outside as well. So, there we go. Doing quite well. I am one of those people who think, right, I'm going to do all this first, or I'm going to do all that first, or I'm going to do this first. So I decided to do all the green. So I might need to have A different pencil for, yeah, that's the colour. Um, I'm, you know, sometimes I'm think, oh, I, well, I need this an odd colour for this because that is a very strange colour. Or, of course, it doesn't have to be realistic, but I'm one of those people <laughs> who tries to make things look realistic-ish, and then I cover them with glitter, and they don't anyway. But I quite like the way this is looking so far. It's looking quite nice. I'm just going to try and finish some of this. So I'm not worried about going outside the lines. That's all. Fi that's always fixable. So. I like the way these are looking at the moment. Very nice, very green. Because it's not all going to be green. Because there's going to be red. Sort of a yellowy green, because it's mistletoe. There's a little robin on there as well, and you've got the bow. Chrome Oxide Green. Excuse me, a bit. Uh, I'm going to start over here. Just a bit more green.
I don't know where we were because the camera stopped automatically again. I'm not sure why, so I've just popped it back on. So I'm just using chrome oxide green just to darken up the holly. It's very annoying when the camera does that. I think it just slightly overheats, but I don't always notice it. I don't think it stopped for very long. That's another reason why I'm trying to keep the videos shorter. All these colouring charts because it overheats the camera slightly, which is never good. So we're looking quite nice on the, the holly now. We're just gonna we are just gonna literally do the holly green bits and that'll be it for tonight. And I might do a mistletoe tomorrow. Or I might not. If you've got a thing for the green, and we haven't even started the um outside yet. So these colour alongs are quite nice actually. So like I said, there's colouring, cosy colouring evening, or cosy colouring night, and that's on Saturday, December the 9th. Hopefully I'll be um, in. I can't see me going out, but Chris is home on the Friday, so it's like normally I pick him up from the station on a Saturday. But because he's home coming home on the Friday instead it'll be easier to pick him up then it usually gets in around 3 o'clock in the afternoon so just, just before rush hour let's hope it is just before rush hour not in rush hour because I hate rush hour so yesterday we went to pick up the car and there was an accident on the M4 on the way back we had to go to Caldecott, it's a nice area. But So we went down and, and on the way back there was an accident between junctions 25 and 26 which is surprise surprise the Bringlass Dunnels area, stretch of road, that's where there's always an accident. If there's going to be an accident it's going to be along that stretch. And we were like oh, so, oh god i got to get off, I need the loo. So we got off and drove through St Julian's. Past and then through the, well, not through the city centre exactly, but across the bridge into the uh, near Friars Walk and up past the train station. And came on that way because otherwise we'd have been sitting there for ages in the traffic. The next junction down would have been Malpas Road, which would have taken us the same way as the St Julian's turn off anyway, so. It was not too bad, but uh, I don't know if anybody was hurt. I hope everybody was all right. Um, but to be fair, seldom a day seldom a day goes past without an accident at that stretch of road. Definitely every week, without fail, there's an, an accident on that stretch of road. So it's a really horrible stretch of road, people. I don't know what it is with people and the. Um, Bring glass tunnels, but they just don't seem to be able to cope with driving through those tunnels. It is a narrow stretch of motorway, it's only two lanes, but the amount of accidents, I'm not even sure why. Although, when it's in the tunnels, it's not surprising because a lot of people for some unknown reason break inside the tunnels and it's like it's like my dad said the tunnels are still part of the motorway all it is is a tunnel it's the same speed limit so it's say it's 50 because it is slower along that stretch of motorway but it's still 50 inside the tunnels as it is outside the tunnels so you don't you shouldn't need 
to break unless there's something going on up ahead or the speed limit changes which it never does in the tunnels it always drops just before a few hundred yards before it'll actually say 50 miles an hour or 40 miles an hour or whatever it is on that day but people seem to break for no apparent reason and it causes accidents Whew. So I do hope that nobody was seriously hurt. I, I don't know, I haven't actually been able to see anything on the news. Usually it's plastered all over Wales online on Facebook, but there wasn't anything on there that I could see. Or on the Newport Revealed page, so I don't know. So by the time we got home, it was late, I was dying for a loo and we were both starving. <laughs> so Paul was gonna put the cot up, even though it's not needed straight away so he didn't forget how to put it up and what bolts went where but we just had dinner and sat down and chilled because it was oh both of us desperately needed the toilet once we got back it was horrible out there I mean I can you know but yeah not very nice when, not very nice when there's an accident like that on the motorway for whoever's involved either so I don't know how long this video is I'm going to say it's just over 30 minutes long so I'm actually going to just finish this leaf and that's going to be enough for today I think let's just scrub, let's just zoom out and have a quick look so we've done the majority of the leaves in actually on the ornament itself the only ones we haven't done are the mistletoe ones which we need a different color from because mistletoe is this funny yellowy green colour, which I think we'll be using yellow lemon, I think, from that one, or possibly um, something green, may green. If I was using Prisma colours, I'd use Chartreuse, but uh, that's it. So that's where we're going to leave that for today. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and catch up. I hope I remember to, to link the two uh, channels below. I have put them on my notes. But I have to put those on there for you. I'm just putting my pencils away. So I had them all out. So I knew I'd be using the greens. And I will be back tomorrow with part two of this colouring catch up, which is part of the Christmas colour along, hosted by this week Grace from Fleca at Grace's Colouring Corner. And I will leave the link below. So if you've liked this, leave me a comment. Don't forget to share um, and like this video. Give it a thumbs up so it comes up in people's feeds. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not give us a subscription? Come on. Um, every subscription is obviously appreciated. I will leave links in the description to the products we've been using today. So that was Johanna's Christmas, the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, a Tegal sharpener and the Derwent electric eraser. There it is, which I love. As mentioned previously, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you do buy using one of the links on the channel, I will get a small commission. It's very, very tiny. It's literally pennies and it doesn't cost you a cent. So. That's it for today. I will see you tomorrow with part two of this colour along. I hope you're enjoying it. Get colour in. It's Christmas. I've got all my Christmas books here as well. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.